Okay, so I found this View Masterclass course. And we're going to collect as many of these concepts as possible. So this is 157 unique videos that talk about 157 unique course subjects. So let's get started. View CLI, command line interface, view router, and state management with Vuex. So I'm going to call this Vuex state management. Now, if you're new to these types of videos, there's pauses after I find a concept that you should repeat. So if I say view CLI, you say view CLI. If I say view router, you say view router. View X state management, view X state management. That way you can get better at verbalizing your knowledge. So we have our JavaScript. user permissions protected rules I'm going to skip third party we'll just call it authentication and I'm up here so now we're on to Firebase and that is a database it's a real-time database. So let's distinguish between a generic real-time database and this unique one called Firebase. All right, we've got cloud functions. Guessing on some type of provider of services, application architecture, best practices, architecture. I'm going to leave out, you know what, I will add best practices because no matter what you're doing, you should be able to you know, list 10 best practices for a new developer. Code splitting. Webpack configuration. SEO and pre-rendering. Those are two quietly large topics, so let me split those out. Pre-rendering. There we go. And that's just the overview. So let's scroll down here. View CLI to Vite. What is Vite? Okay, let's put that next to this one. Vite. You have to install it. You have to get identify the dependencies that it needs. Scaffold a new project. Scaffolding saves you some time. Explore it. Bootstrap it. Static code review and automatic code review. Automatic code review. And static code review. There's something, some tool called ESLint. Yes, Lint. And the overall concept of linting, what is that good for? That's good for finding errors in your code to help you become a better coder, essentially. All right, what do we have? The application structure, 
that's similar to architecture. Forum data, that's their example. Data importing is a good one. Data importing. JSON, if you haven't worked with JSON files before, it stands for JavaScript Object Notation, or JSON. Cappy, don't know what that one is, but it has API on the end. Application Program Interface. Refactoring. Styling. In your styling, you'll have a style sheet. Again, if you're new to these concepts, speak them out loud. After I say style sheet, you say style sheet exactly but you also have global styles very different this applies to everything every and there's select global styles but the actual sheet is a file or a collection of styles routing all right gotta get that writing very important we have a view router, so we have here dynamic route matching. Dynamic route matching. Route params. So there's parameters. This stands for parameters. Route parameters. Route configuration. I mean, it, lots to go do in routing. Routing. I'm going to put the word configuration because that can apply to many things. Clean up the home page, refactor the thread list component. I don't think we've used the word component yet, have we? Like a view component. That's a snippet of code that has a specific function. Composition API. router link to navigate between page components so there's different types of components in this case they're referred to a page component and then they have linking router link not found page redirect you know, I think the concept of redirection is pretty important. I'm going to put redirecting. Once you go here, you immediately get bounced or forwarded, redirected to somewhere else. All right, so that was all routing and components basics. Now we have organizing the application. So we have page components we need to organize. We have forum post components. Here's another type of component. A forum post component. We have a post editor. Now, the concept of post is important. So useful, common. And then the actual mechanism of editing the post, the post editor. Communication between components. If you create a bunch of components, you need them to talk to each other. Adding human readable dates. You know, dates in general is pretty kind of important. So. Base components. It's probably a component that gets inherited. Base component. Global registration. So the concept of registration, I think, is a good one. Registration. Organizing threads in forums. 
the reds, there's kind of different nomenclatures of how people use threads, but it's a good concept to dig into. Form list component, and we have form post component, and now they're referring to a form list component. And makes me believe there's some type of list component without a forum and some type of post component without a forum type. All right, now they're introducing categories. Big 12 minute video on categories. A collection of forums. The comma is the and, so introducing categories and collection of forums. So we'll just stick to the concept of forums. So that was how you organize your application. Now there's something called view X and state management. Very important. So you have the state of something, and then you have how you manage that state. And I'm guessing that view X is related to state management. What is this? From view X to Pinilla. Pinilla. I don't know. Pinilla. Ooh, okay, so here we're getting into some new words here. Migration. We're getting into actions. So what is an action? What is a mutation? The initial state. There's different types of states. Posts, form, navbar. Navbar is just something at the top of the web page or at the left somewhere. A collection of links. Fetching the authenticated user. Authentication. User profile page. You have user permissions. I think the concept of a user profile should be added. User profile. JavaScript. We got that one. User post thread to the store. Uh, stores are interesting word can be used in many ways, but it's a good concept to to learn. Store. User profile. Pages. I think the concept of a page should be learned. View router, we have the view router, auth ID, auth authentication. So you can kind of put the word ID at the end of a lot of these things. Post ID, state ID, store ID, authentication ID like they do here. All right, so now we're talking about forum threads. We have forums, I'll get rid of the S. You can create a new forum thread. Now they're always putting the word, well, except for this one, thread after forum. Creating a route to create new forum threads. Refactoring. Did we get refactoring? I think we should add refactoring. It's a good concept. Oh, we did, down here. Threads. Threads, the thread, thread editor, thread editor components. See, there's just so many components. I'll go ahead and add it. Thread editor component. Helper functions. There's a good one. Helper function. Higher order functions. 
So that's a different type of function, higher order function. A view x mutation. So we have mutations. Curious if that, uh, well, let's go ahead and do it. View x mutation. Probably the same thing. Dynamic view x getters. Dynamic view x getter. Makes me wonder if the view x mutation is dynamic too. If there's something called dynamic view x mutation. I'm not sure. Cloud fire store. What is a cloud fire store? Again, if you haven't heard these words right after I say them, say them either in your mind or verbally. Firebase. Got the database. Cloud Fire Store database. So these are related. Firebase and Fire Store. Life cycle hooks. Oh, yeah, hooks are important. I'm going to go ahead and put life cycle though. Life cycle hooks. There's more than one hook. Migrations. Fetching data. You know, that's a good word. Fetch. They use that a lot. So I'm going to put fetching data. action. In this case, they're calling it a Vuex action. The order in which things are created before create. Fetching data, fetching data. Mapping. Yeah, that you probably should be familiar with mapping. Splitting, fetching, app-wide data. Storing new posts using the server timestamp. I think that's a good one. How can you use the server timestamp to make sure all your Reads and writes have a log ability. Incrementing the user's post count. Font Awesome plugin. If you have not heard of Font Awesome, it has become popular for front end development. User interface, Cloud Firestore snapshot. I'm guessing it's the snapshot of the database the current pre previous state it was in. But we'll go ahead and put it down here. All right. So we're getting kind of busy here. Let's see how much we have left. Loading. Workflows, user authentication, quite a bit. So let's go ahead and put this into a part series. So we just ended with the fire store and the database. And we'll go ahead and put this here. We're going to call this, I don't know, view. Vue.js Essential Concepts. How many do we have? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight. Seventy-two minus two is seventy.
Actually, 8 times 9 is 76. Minus 2 is 74. All right. 74 UJS. I want to say 74 essential concepts. When to use Vue.js. This is going to be part one.